academics could soon be vetted by the MI5 under government plans to tackle Chinese spies. Well, this comes as the security service warns sensitive research at British universities is being targeted by hostile foreign states. And this comes as two former parliamentary researchers accused of spying for China have now been released on bail. Well, it's a concerning security picture, but let's get abreast of it now with the Conservative Member of Parliament for Chingford and Woodford Green, Sir Ian Duncan Smith. Uh, Sir Ian, thank you for making the time for us. Uh, where, where to start with all of this? It seems that China is becoming more assertive, more aggressive, and wider reaching in its uh, espionage op operations. Uh, yeah, that's been apparent for some time. I'm one of. Uh seven uh, members of parliament, that's uh, lords and uh, MPs, who are sanctioned by the Chinese government uh, directly, which includes our families as well. And that's all because we've been part of an organization called the Interparliamentary Alliance on China, and we've called them to account on a whole series of issues that they've been doing, such as genocide uh, in China, uh, they've broken all the trade rules, uh, and they spy the whole time on us. And universities are very, very uh, heavily loaded into Chinese uh, dependency. And uh, they are very vulnerable at the moment. And we have to tread carefully, of course, because this is an ongoing live case. But there have been these two men. They're now out on bail, but they've been accused of spying for China. Is this a very real problem that people inside of our institutions, acting in Parliament, in our universities, are not necessarily Chinese themselves, but they're spying on behalf of China? It's a mix of both. There are definitely uh, uh, people who are Chinese, Chinese passport holders, uh, who have been in the UK and have uh, been spying. Uh, no question about that. There have been cases of of postgrad students uh, being involved in defence contracts. So our vetting of many people have been very poor indeed. But there's also what I always call the fellow travellers, those people that have been out to China and have become uh, imbued with the idea that uh, China is right, uh, and they rather like the idea of intolerant uh, regimes like the Chinese who uh, tell people what to do, and if they don't do what they do, then they get arrested and dealt with. And this sort of co communities are sometimes quite inviting to those who have been out there studying. So there are one or two of those around. Uh, there are two people uh, that are accused now of spying. One who was working for an organization called the Chinese Research Group, which is a very small group of people, includes the existing chairman of the Foreign, Secretary, uh, the Foreign uh, Affairs Select Committee. Uh, and then there's another individual I've never heard of who has turned up to have been spying as well. That's what the accusation is. Mm. Uh, so they wouldn't be making those accusations if they weren't very ser cer certain that they had the right element of data. This is a war going on. Uh, it's a cyber war. Uh, and China is spending its time attacking and trying to find ways through our systems uh, throughout all of the Western world, uh, those what I call the free world, those who believe in democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. So, And they are, the important thing that people should understand is that China isn't alone in this. There's what I call a new axis of totalitarian states, the, which, the heart of which is China, the second most powerful economic nation on the planet, and probably the second most powerful military uh, uh, country after uh, the United States. And it includes North Korea, Russia, and Iran very carefully involving and coordinating their actions at the moment. So it is a very threatening affair, and it's going to get worse. That's a, it's a, it's a stark warning there, Sir Ian. I suppose we should say at this point, those that have been accused have not been proven to have done anything wrong. Being accused doesn't necessarily, of course, mean that there, that there is guilt implied there. But, um, but Sir Ian, this feels like a new Cold War in many ways. I can uh, I sort of read about the spies that existed in the uh, 1960s and 70s at Cambridge University, read about sort of how, in many ways, it's usually the sort of intelligentsia that gets involved in this sort of network of, 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 of espionage. Are we seeing a mirror image of what the Soviet Union uh, was sort of spreading out in this country uh, half a century ago, now with China today? Yeah, in some cases, I think this is even worse. Um, remember, the Soviet Union was a, deemed as a military superpower, but it, it ran its military on the back of an economy probably smaller 
than New York State. Uh, it was tiny. And uh, they spent huge proportions of their income uh, on defense. I mean, I always say to people, can you remember a single thing that you ever bought that had the label on it, Mark, uh, made in, in the Soviet Union? And the answer was no, because if you did were and so stupid to have bought it, it would have broken down and it wouldn't work. It's different now. China has become incredibly wealthy on the back of Western companies running to China to do their business with them because they were able to get cheaper deals, mm. cheaper, cheaper labor costs. Now, all of that has made China an absolute economic superpower. And we are dependent now on China for so many things. You don't even realize how many things are made. I mean, I was having an argument with Amazon the other day because they don't tell you where things are made and they should do. So all of this, I'm afraid, is part of the undermining of the resolve of the free world. And if you look right now, everything, all the way, the links between them and Iran, uh, what Iran's doing in the UK with the IRGC, the the uh, uh, getting people in different uh, Muslim communities to be much more yeah. angry about life and, and about everything else. Absol and absolutely. So, Ian, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. We're going to have to leave it there, but it's been fantastic to talk to you, and I'd love to hear more about your battle with Amazon as well. Um, really great okay. to speak to you. So, Ian Duncan-Smith, Conservative MP for Chingford and Woodford Green. Lots to say on